<laughs> so that's the first thing y'all see when you tap into this video. What's up, Cosmic Gang? Due to demand, Akashic Records readings are now available. You can email us at empressisabel.info at gmail.com or book your service now at the T H E E Empress Isabel dot com slash services. As usual, uh, cosmic gang, a whole lot of gang shit, ninth dimensional coast and strange shit. Ooh, y'all like that new intro, right? Uh, I was in a <laughs> I was in a meditation before this. Y'all see y'all y'all should y'all gotta see what happened in my cards just now. Um they went crazy. So I was in a minute. Ooh, we got King of Swords and Baby daddy's coming back for them. This is that King of Swords is. Uh, but I went and got, uh, cause I don't really, I know a lot about tarot. I'm actually gonna do a, uh, for my, some of my sisters wanted to learn how to read tarot. So I'm gonna have a course, how to read cards. Um, it's gonna be something you just buy it. You should be able to download. I think I'm going to make it as a PDF format, but we'll see what format works the best. That'll be on my website by the end of the week. These are just some of our, so that all the sisters and all the brothers who want to learn, that's right, cosmic gang, cosmic gang, whole lot of gang shit, ninth dimensional strange shit. <laughs> that's where we are right now, okay? Um... So this is going to be a weekly energy reading and after the weekly energy reading um anybody who would like like a little bit of a, me a mini reading on live y'all can just put something on the cash app and i'll do a reading for you we did this last week and it was so much fun so i was like why not do it again um so i consulted with my higher self i'm going to be doing akashic records and actually, Akasha showed me how to do them. I was like, oh, okay. This is actually a lot of depth. Because what was happening with a lot of clients, um, their past lives were coming up. And like the last couple readings I did, a lot of people's past lives have been coming up. So because of that, I felt called to begin doing Akashic Record readings. I, you know, I do mostly healing work. And sometimes a lot of those past lives will need to do uh, cord cuttings, you know, from individuals from past lives. Uh, a lot of my clients, uh, they do, they were slaves in past lives. So sometimes we have to cut cords and sometimes we have to clean the DNA. And, you know, some of them uh, slave master ancestors, we got to get rid of them. So y'all know I do work with people all over the country. Honestly, all at this point, all over the world. These cards are, they don't want to shuffle. Stop shuffling us. Tarot cards are feisty. Super feisty. But it's cool. I already feel like this is going to be this and probably the chakra oracle cards. So this is just going to be uh, a weekly energy reading. Thank you. Um, higher self, spirit guides, uh, ancestors, the ones that I didn't cut off. So y'all look out for the first couple of Akashic Record readings I do are going to be severely discounted. So, ooh, we got the Empress card right away. So we're in our mother. The Empress was our first card. Yeah, the Empress is here. They. Here. Boo. Mm, and it's upright. That's going to be a good, good week to manifest. Create structure. Uh oh We got three cups in reverse. Okay. Let me just pull a couple of these. Because I know the, ooh, the chariot in reverse. That's interesting. Um I know the I know the um major arcana pretty well. The minor arcana I'm still getting a handle on. It is 72 cards, so I'll give myself a uh That's interesting. And then uh, Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups in reverse. So we're dealing with a lot of emotional things. A chariot in reverse is interesting. 
like someone's taking back a gift. Oh, yep, yep, yep. I need the seven of swords. Six of swords. I don't one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six of swords. Six of swords at the end. Hey, cuz. All right, y'all. Let me look at some of these. Because I don't know all of these by heart yet. So I'm going to do a little research. Uh, I don't know the minor arcana by heart yet. Three. But I was playing with these a lot yesterday. And pretty much all my intuitive messages I was getting were like right on point. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, okay. This is interesting. Um, I'm telling you, I don't be playing. Right. So a lot of people are... This is actually a really good message. So the Empress card was the first card we pulled in the upright position. Um, that's really dealing with the um, feminine nature. That's getting into uh, harmony with, you know, being in your power, receiving. Now, the Three of Cups in reverse is interesting because Three of Cups is, you see how everyone's like, okay, when you look at it this way, everybody's coming together. Everybody's um, celebrating. So when we have it in reverse, it might be that, because we're in our empress energy the three of cups in reverse is that we're sort of not letting everybody in like you're allowing some individuals to come back into your life come back into your spirit but you don't want to let everybody in and then this the, the chariot in reverse is really interesting too i'm telling y'all mm, y'all doing this with me i thought so Mm hmm so usually usually when I see you get the um, chariot card it's like something else it's something is coming to you or something is flowing to you so if we're seeing the chariot in reverse that means that there may be some sort of blockage and I think that it is ourselves that is creating the blockage because the story that we have here so far with the Empress being in her power is that she's allowing certain people back in, but she's not allowing everyone back in. So she's creating a boundary or a restriction uh, with the chariot card. So, and then we get our, so let me see. Mm. Y'all be so on point. It just, I'm telling you, my intuition be more on point, and this is traveling. Um... Okay, so this is also, um, so the Knights of Cups, and I usually cups have to do with emotions or feelings. So if you have the Knight, Knight of Cups upright, um, usually you're sort of like in a good vibe, you're in a good flow, but reversed, it's sort of like uh, just you're not dealing with the fuck shit no more. You're not going to be, you're going to, you're like, no. I'm not going to just give anybody this cup. And also, too, um, stay on top of business, uh, paperwork, things of that nature that you need to do. And usually, yeah, that's what I thought, too. This is like an emotional message. That's what I caught. See, I'm telling you, my intuition be so on point because there's a river in the back. And you see him sitting here, and it looks like he's bringing a message. Plus, he has the messenger sort of like wings on him energy. So that's reverse. That's, that's another block. All right. And then the last card is the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is an interesting card. The Six of Swords usually means um, you're going in some sort of uh, some sort of journey, whether it be an inner journey or an outer journey. The Six of Swords is like it. I think for a lot of us, it's going to be actually an inner journey. It's almost like a full circle, like you're coming back into your Empress vibes. I'm going to pull my other cards, too, the Oracle cards, to clarify, because those are the general energies um, that I'm getting right now. What's up, Rick? Okay, Joe. Joe's. Joe's. Um, today we're going to talk about 
Hey, Aisha's here. Okay, everybody say hello to Aisha. She's here. Remember when you said my crown was on 10? Oh, yeah, your crown was wild that day. Because, all right, today we're doing a general energy reading. And we pulled some tarot cards. I'm going to pull my oracle cards because, um, yeah, I knew I had to grab. Yo, when I got these cards, because it's funny, because I'm a channel. I typically don't use tarot cards. But I've been fucking up. I typically will just use oracle cards because I channel. So I'm like, I really don't even need cards. I could sit here and channel, but, you know, the cards make it more entertaining. It would be quite boring if I just sat here and was like, um, you guys would be like, oh, this bitch is weird. I mean, this is kind of weird already, so we're just going to get really fucking weird. Um, all right, these need a clearing. I got some old energy on them. Okay, so we're going on a journey back to ourselves to reclaim that power, that status that we deserve as the mother that creates structure as the empress. And a lot of people out here need to remember to nourish yourself. You can't nourish everybody else if you don't remember to nourish yourself. That's one thing I learned from the Empress card, honestly. It's all about nourishing yourself. Her energy had been coming up since yesterday. And I like the way that story unfolded. Because when you read cards, it's like a story. Because um, everything sort of is coming full circle. Ah, look at this. And this is this card, I feel like, represents me. But in the Chakra Wisdom Oracle cards... This particular card is just like the Empress card. So we have renewal. Look at this. Y'all are gonna y'all are gonna while out. How similar do these two cards look? And I'm only using the Oracle cards to clarify. Um yeah, so it's the same story. Let's see what we got. That's funny because I was thinking about this last night. And you see how all these energies be aligning? And what did I say? It's like nourishing ourselves, it's like coming back into um, you know, a space of power and structure, but it seems more like an inner journey. Some people may actually be traveling. I want to be traveling. Shit, somebody buy me a plane ticket. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, and everyone who like, because this weekend, oh, it's wisdom in reverse. That's interesting. Um, usually I don't even do reversals on these cards, honestly. Um, Everybody who just this weekend randomly decided to send me a, a little cash app donation, thank you. It was really sweet. You know, I'm sitting here being a goof and watching anime, and it's like such and such sent you a cash app, and it's like it's like thank you so much for your work, and it's like oh, just for being you or whatever, and I'm just like that's really fucking nice. Thank you, thank you. It really uh, just motivates me to keep going with what we're doing here, and um everything sort of you know in a flow in a flow oh anybody who is registered for the soul work master class uh i don't know if anyone who's registered is actually on the live right now but i will be sending out your pdfs this tonight i'll send it for for week one and then we're gonna go live tomorrow um not live we'll, we'll we're gonna do a, a chat tomorrow all right we're coming out of some guilt um, just for everybody who is tuned in with the Soul Work Masterclass, you know, taking their spirituality to the next level, getting all that good-ass game. Workaholic, which is what I said, too. Now, let's see what else we get here. Because we got guilt. We had workaholic, which means we all have the gift of really producing some profound results right now. Um, as far as what we're into with our work, uh, there's somebody here that needs to focus more on what they're passionate about and less on what they feel they need to do. I actually know who it is, but I'm not going to say her name. But yeah, so so that's just a message from Spirit. And next card that comes up, passion. Whoa, isn't that an alignment? Um, Let's see what we got. All right. And then we, we end with the discovery card. Wow. Wow, this is fucking fun. All right, so we started with the renewal card, which is very similar to our um, Empress card, right? And then to clarify this Three of Cups, we have Wisdom in reverse. Uh, but it's funny because typically I don't do reversals. Actually, and I want to 
little. I typically don't do reversals with these particular cards. Let me put this back up. Um, but Spirit said to leave it as a reversal, so I'm like, okay, that's weird. But I'm fucking with it. Also has to do with the crown chakra, so some people may not be seeing. Wisdom, patience, acceptance. Okay, so we're dealing with some prove nothing. Okay, simply choose to be wise. The ability here is to bring serenity to any situation, and it may indeed be needed. Okay, so this is going to be dealing with some inner turmoil. Uh, this wisdom in reverse is dealing with inner turmoil, um, is dealing with an, an imbalance in our spiritual and internal world, and is also dealing with um, feeling like you have to prove something to other people, um, feeling like uh, you have to um, give other people uh, like a piece of your mind or like like you need to tell them tell them what it is or tell them off. Uh, this is just the message that Spirit's giving me. Like you got to tell them what it is. You have to tell them off. And Spirit is saying right now that now is not the time to do that. Be still. Go within yourself. You don't need to prove anything to anybody. And that goes back in with what we were saying before about about following your passion because some people really feel like they don't have the gift of following their passion right now when they do and right after the wisdom in reverse the next card that came out happens to be the guilt card and these are the um chakra oracle wisdom cards i will after this video post links in case anybody wants to get because this is uh based on the traditional writer tarot deck it's recolored though. So this is the white tarot deck. And then these are the chakra oracle wisdom cards. I'll put the links um, in the comments after this so that you guys, if you want to, you know, check out these cards or whatever, you can purchase them for yourself. The, the, this chakra wisdom oracle, I've had this for about three or four years. My like literally one of my favorite decks. Um, so guilt. And this is dealing with business also, by the way, the guilt card. So there may be some guilt as far as um, somebody making us feel bad about our creative and or our sexual energy. Uh, we may be making uh, ourselves feel bad because maybe we're choosing to connect with the wrong people uh, creatively in business or in our, you know, in our personal lives. And it's sort of causing a rift within ourselves. So that's also why we had this, um, the chariot coming to bring a um, set a boundary. But that's also why we had that three of cups in reverse. Because it's like you're coming back into that I'm the empress. I know who I am. I am that I am. And you're not going to let anybody take that away from you at this time. And spirit is really guiding us. We don't need to feel guilty. We need to stop judging ourselves and set some boundaries so that the people who are supposed to be in your life are have the ability to show you that they're supposed to be there and those who are not supposed to be there let them go and let them flow stop trying to you don't have anything to prove to these people they're not supposed to be there they're not supposed to um be in your space at this time all right let's check out Guilt card indicates deep caring protection from emotional hurt through standing strong in your emotions. Yeah. Great inner resolve. Once your mind is made up, you can see what others others have tried to manipulate you. So be careful for that too. Because oh, 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 somebody somebody who sees this or is on right now, there is someone trying to manipulate your uh emotional energy. Um it's like they're trying to manipulate your life, but they're really doing it through your emotional sphere. It's a weird, it's a weird thing to say. Uh, you need a reading, Erica? Okay, if you want a mini reading on live, um, just leave a donation on my cash app. If you want a full reading, just message me after this, and I will um, will book you for a reading. Um, me as well. Wow. Hey, L Judge. Thank you for coming. Yes, receive it. Receive it, girl. Okay, so the next thing we have is workaholic, which, and right after that is passion. So right now is a really, really good time. Listen, guys, the holidays are coming. It's time to spend money. It's time to make money. Like, 
you know, let's get on, let's get on our P's and Q's with this. So a lot of you are very talented, um, but maybe you're not tapping into where your talent is truly lying. That's what spirit is telling me. Um, feel out, not out of balance. Out of balance is a good word for it. But it's like you're almost blind. Oh, it's like the two of swords when you're in the crossroads, but she has the blindfold on. Um, it's like you're out of balance or you're blind or you're not seeing all the opportunities that you have um, at this time in the work that you actually love doing. You know, getting creative. Uh, it's it's oh, sort of broaden your horizons and and follow your follow your bliss or your passion and that's also dealing with the because see we came up with the sacral chakra first with the guilt card so once we get into sort of like our work and our flow our own flow we can start to really resonate with the passion and i always look at the passion card this girl here um sort of like a princess or um you know princess that that'll be a queen one day so for my ladies a lot of you are in our you are like this princess and you may be learning from an elder and you're supposed to become from this princess you're supposed to become this empress right you're supposed to become renewed through your passion so start being very cognizant about following your passions following your goals following your dreams doing it in a structured way because the empress isn't isn't a fool she does it in a very structured way okay so through this little story we have coming together last card we have is our discovery card and that was very in the line with the six of swords that we got um because the six of swords is a journey you're going on a journey it's almost like you don't want to leave but you're leaving because you have to go it's something that you just have to do um so at this time it's like you know what i need to just take my leave i need to go um, and then through that, what you're going to find is, see, this is clarifying the six of swords. What you're going to find is your discovery and even through a heartbreak because this particular card, um, this flower here has the inability to actually give, um, it has the inability to receive love, but through the act of giving what you're passionate about, what you love, it expands your capacity to love and sometimes that's the gift the gift is really um expanding your capacity also um a lot of you mm, i'm getting shamanism for some people for other people connecting with your spirit guides and some of your ancestors especially like a grandfather or like a father figure this 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 guy was sticking out to me today um, all right, so that's that. I appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.